guys, Amber here. Just going to do a little video about how to cut a spaghetti squash, how to cook it, and what the hell you do with it. All right, so I'm just going to, um, well first, this is a pretty big spaghetti squash. They're not always this large, but I'm looking to cook it, and then I'm going to prep it out for the week. Um, I'll probably get about five meals out of this particular squash. It kind of depends on what it looks like on the inside after I cut it open. All right, so the first thing you're gonna go ahead and do is get a really sharp knife and kind of just go down the middle of it. Now, Matt usually cuts these for me because I don't like cutting them, all right? Because they're, they're pretty dangerous. So go ahead and cut down the middle. All right, now they're really, really, really tricky to cut. So I use the sharp knife to get started, but then I have a serrated knife. So try to get a serrated one if you could. And you're just gonna kind of saw away. So it's kind of like when you're doing a pumpkin. All right? And try to do it as evenly as you could because that way when you do bake it, cause you're gonna bake it in the oven, when you're doing that, it, you know, it cooks evenly. So, and it makes your life a lot easier if you have to take one half out of the oven. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. So you have all this pulpy stuff. You're just gonna go ahead and get a spoon. Let me get a spoon because I was not prepared. Any kind of uh, like a bigger tablespoon will work. So you're gonna scoop all of this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. Nothing too fancy, just scoop it all out. I'm gonna make a mess. Scooping it all out. All right, my oven is preheating to about 400 degrees. You can do 400, you could do 450 if you want, but I'm gonna be throwing meatballs in there too, so I don't wanna put it up too high so that I could do them both at the same time. All right, so now that it's sprayed, I'm sorry, Nothing sprayed yet. <laughs> We're doing it next. Now that it's all pulped out, you need to get some spray. I use organic olive oil spray. You can use coconut oil, whichever you prefer. And just go ahead and spray a prepared pan. I like to cover it in, um, in foil. You don't have to. So spray that. Some people actually, instead of spraying it, like to put olive oil on their squash. You don't have to do that though. It tastes really, really good without even doing it. I sprinkle it with a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. That's the pink salt. You can use regular sea salt if you'd like. And then some organic fresh um, ground black pepper. Just a little, to taste, you know. Then, this is what it looks like, you know. I put it upside down on the pan, just like such. And then I put it in the oven, about 45 minutes. When it's done, I'll know it's done because I'll take it out. It's usually um, brown around the edges a little bit. And then I'll use a hot pad, I'll turn it over. And if it's soft to the touch of the fork, then it's done. And if the side, if one of them were uneven when you cut it, these are pretty good, these are pretty even, but if one was uneven, then you would just take one out and leave the other one in. So check both of them for softness if one was uneven when you cut it. And just leave the other one in for a few minutes. Set your timer for five extra minutes, no big deal. And so I'll use my little owl timer and I'll just set it for five extra minutes. Not a big deal at all. So then when you're done, You'll just scrape it all out with the fork. So easy and it's gonna look like spaghetti. It's pretty great, all right? Okay, let me know how you liked it. 